How many tax workers are there, dog? <laughs> what the fuck? I don't trust some of you niggas, dog. Some of you niggas, <laughs> niggas some scammers, nigga. Y'all, oh yeah, we do taxes. We get your highest motherfucking refund back. Like, damn. Oh. Mm, damn, Q. Baby, you did that. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy versus everybody podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. The champ is here. Post on uh, IG, yeah, we just going in. Oh, we, go, we, we about to get started though. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna let you start your shit. How no, you I mean, shit, it's always just whatever. It is, yeah, shit. but uh, yeah, it was a, a chick on the Zoom meeting and shit. I guess I see that shit with my hand clapping that motherfucker. Dog ass. getting beat. Dog. Like, what do you even think? You gotta be what all type of hornies for that shit, dog. They can't even wait, nigga. That like, shit, I ain't gonna lie though. Should be kind of lit though. Dog, I'm trying to. You gotta make sure the camera off. But yeah. it be kind of lit though. Like she in her Zoom, and you just beat yeah, her back in. Then you try yeah. to prove a point, dumbass nigga. It, try exactly. to make it. You already know. <laughs> so yeah, that shit was been lit. Anyway, <laughs> my bad. Go ahead, dog. Go ahead and start. start your we can start just like that. How we did. <laughs> Play yeah, we missed the beginning sort of, but then once we started talking about the veneer, the STDs and shit like that, let me hit record now because it's some wild <laughs> shit. Talk about niggas, niggas getting catheters in their penis, but no, dog, you already know, man. We ain't got no uh, this shot, man. Got producer Q on the motherfucking other side and shit, dog. What up, though? We were uh, we was gonna have a guest, but you know how it is. You know every every six months, so you know, saying you get niggas just to give you a chemolajuan spin, fake up pump, fake. Lay up, dunk, nigga, all that shit, dog. This so. nigga said lay up, dunk. But no, and then I try to invite a female just so we can have a female conversation. But you know, I wasn't thinking. Because when um, Kiara hit me back, she was like, you already know I got to get prepared. Like, nigga, like, yeah, ain't yeah. like we can just get up, brush our teeth, and just go and yeah, shit. Yeah, the ladies got to get they self yeah. all the way together. Especially yeah. she in the music shit, so. Yeah, she don't got be out image here to uphold. Yeah, yeah sure. and then hit Tori, she had to work. So I'm like, man, fuck it. Yeah, nah, for sure. But, uh, Shout out to y'all, though. I'm trying to think. Cause I know if y'all could have y'all to pull it up. Yeah, for sure. Cause yeah. she said she would have been. She said she would have been excited. So I do have for some sure. something planned on in the future for them to come on. Yeah, for sure. But uh, dog. So you already know how I do the whole. Before I get to the bullshit, mm -hmm. I I hope you don't cry, dog. <laughs> what the fuck, I'm gonna cry for. It's like dog. So I had. Oh shit! Here we go. I'm listening to Twenty One Savage on the way here. Okay. So you know how you I get my track list. Okay. Take a story, you know what I'm saying, from the shit. Yeah. No so I, I'm going down the whole shit, dog. Like, damn, some interesting uh, tracks over here that can be some straight stories. Okay. So I don't think I'm going to go straight to one that, that you know what I'm saying, be a tearjerker, dog. <laughs> At least a tearjerker. There's a couple of shits that's on here, though. So mm -hmm. I'm going uh, to, fuck it. I'm going to start off with it. This is going to start with the tearjerker. Yeah, okay. just don't mm -hmm. cry, nigga. So <clears throat> he got a song. I'm not going to guarantee <laughs> He got a song called Letter to My Brother. Mm-hmm. So then it started having me thinking, you know, I, I think real good and shit, dog. You think real good? Yeah. So <clears throat> you got three brothers. Mm -hmm. I got three brothers. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but you got a brother that passed away. I got a brother that passed away. Facts. So if you had to write like a two or three uh, sentence letter to each one of them saying something that you want to get off your chest, what would it be, dog? Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> I don't know, nigga. What the fuck is this? Like, for, some, for example. Hey, look, this is some motherfucking therapy. Therapy, shit. this bitch, dog. But, no, it's just interesting, dog. Like, all right, to my, to the, my brother passed away. So, so you you about to have you about to have sentences for this, individuals. Just certain, like, it ain't got to be no long, yeah, you know what I'm saying, gonna, shit. Just something that, you know, you want to ask or some shit. It's a good question. Yeah. All right, so you already thought about it, so go ahead and put your... A little bit. With my oldest brother who passed away, mm -hmm. his name Mark, you know what I'm saying, Mark Sterling, shit, rest in peace. Mm -hmm. But I want to know if he really feel like my dad was his real dad. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because he came around when I was fucking shit. For, I always heard about his name Okay. when I was young, but I didn't see him in person until I was like, yeah, when my dad passed away. Yeah. So, yeah, I was like 13, cause mm -hmm. he, 13, 14. Okay. So, uh, nigga look like my granddad. Yeah. Light skinned nigga, boy, <laughs> everybody <laughs> my dad's side family, boy head. Gotcha. So, you know what I'm saying? So, it was it was a cool dude, but mm -hmm. I only seen him like four, four times. Mm -hmm. Two times because of the funeral. And then, uh, you know, say, of course, you know, at the funeral, you hang out, whatever, like yeah. that. So it, it was some doubt there, or? And my dad always denied it. Oh, shit. <laughs> well. But my granddad, but everybody else was like, nigga, 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 he on bullshit. Yeah. My dad, like I told you, we said this story before. He was like 15. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Man, what, choking shit? <laughs> but yeah, he's 15 years old, so I don't know if he know how his dick work, nigga. But yeah. <laughs> nigga, I don't, if he fucking raw. Nine times ten, that was your little girlfriend, probably your baby. Yeah. And ain't like the nigga look like 
like just completely different. Like mm-hmm. he a light skinned nigga, but I'm a light skinned nigga. His mom a light skinned. My yeah. granddad light skinned. I mean, it can happen. They got some resemblance. Uh-huh. So I wanted to ask him like, like how do he feel growing up like not having him around and then meeting us once he passed away. Like I just want to know how he feel like if, if that was his real dad or if he would have did a little bit more to try to you know what I'm saying yeah. figure out if that was his real pops or not. No, that's a, that's a real ass motherfucking mm-hmm. question though, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, cause so our story's gonna be similar on that. You know exactly. what I'm saying? No, except, for sure. except obviously it's my little brother. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Your dad, but, he never like denied it. Nah, nah. So, so and it's the thing though. So it, there wasn't any denial there, but I definitely would would like to have asked him, and, and I, I guess I. I felt like I was getting ready to get the opportunity to, mm-hmm. and I just wasn't ready to rush that conversation. Yeah, for now sure. I kind of wish I did. Yeah, yeah, cause you, but you didn't know. Didn't know, yeah, didn't know. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to know what what is that like to to know your father but not be able to build a relationship. For sure. And, and this is you know this is candid conversations I've had with my old man too. Like dog, at yeah. some point, yeah. you know, this your son, nigga. Yeah. You gotta, you, hey, this yeah. your son. Hell yeah. Both of y'all got anger. It's anger there, like because. Because miscommunication of, of, of niggas. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. dudes don't know how to talk to dudes. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, let alone your son. Mm-hmm. We just don't know. So, like, you mad because he not reaching out. He mad because, like, nigga, you his daddy. You supposed to reach yeah. out. So now you just bumping heads. For sure. So I then, know that part. Yeah, so then you go through a, your whole life with, with this anger. Yeah. Like, y'all trying to merge it together, but both of y'all angry and nobody's talking about yeah, it. Yeah, so now it's just right? all fucked up. So then finally, you know, we, we go go full circle to where, like, you know, we our lives uh, merge back together. And I, I'm getting to that point where, like, we getting back cool to the point where, yeah. like, I'm learning things about him. He learned things about yeah, me. Yeah, like, yeah. she low-key, one of the uh, bottles of, what uh, shit was, the, uh, the Jim Bean bottle and bond mm-hmm. shit he actually brought from Mississippi because he had been watching my podcast oh, and yeah, shit. Yeah. He was just like, dog, I want to try this with you and shit. So, like, we was bonding. Yeah. So I'm thinking at that point, like, damn, all right, this is about to be the time we can For have sure. this conversation. Like, dog. I know you mad, nigga. All right? <laughs> Let's just keep it, you know, keep it under. Like, nigga, I know you mad. Hell yeah. So then you look at me and shit. Like, you got the other son, like your brother and shit. Yeah. And it's like you get to live the life, yeah, the family sure. life and shit. Like, nigga, it's got to be some anger. Hell yeah. So let you know. Let's talk about that shit. Yeah. But I, I wasn't. I was. I didn't think. If I had a little buzz going on too, then. Yeah, and, and and we did. Like we we would we would get our buzz together and shit, just mm-hmm. talk shit, and it, it was cool. And I was like, damn, we leading up to that point, then bounce, nigga. Yeah. Just, you know what I'm saying? So, That's how it should be. Yeah, but definitely. That that would be in the uh, the letter. Just kind of yeah. trying to figure out, like what what that's like and shit. And, and honestly, it ain't it ain't in my place. But yeah. but honestly, I think I owe him an apology. Like yeah. I, I'm sorry that you had to live your life like that. Oh, for sure. Even though I didn't have no so, hand um, in it. But when you, you know. first met him, you was like old. No, when I first met him, I was, mm, I don't know. Oh yeah, 11, you was younger. 10, I was okay. yeah, I was, I was a kid. You know, because he like kid. my age, ain't he? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So he's thirty. Well, he might be actually a little younger. I think I I'm like a, old, a year or two older. Than yeah, him, year or two know. older. So yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah. So I was a kid there, and then in between time, like we had some contact. But then, like later on in life, like we were really just. And, and uh, to be honest, it yeah. was it was on him. Yeah. Like his wife had a uh, family in Indiana, so yeah. like he would come to Indiana with her, and then just like reach out to us, and then make that trip. Yeah, for sure. Like Hell so, yeah. honestly, he the little brother. Hell but yeah. He the one who did. The, he yeah. did the fucking when work. That, when that started happening, when he started coming up here, like what? What? Uh, just, just a few years back. Was, so recently. So y'all really didn't really kick it until then. That was yeah, it. That's, that's it. the first time, especially as adults. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the first time we kicked it for real, and it was like, damn, I got a fucking yeah. brother. But y'all did talk like on the phone some shit, like yeah, like every now and then, yeah, but yeah. you know, like nothing like that. But after he started coming up here. Um, then that's when you yeah. know communication yeah, yeah, got a little yeah. better and yeah, shit. That nigga can't deny that nigga either, boy. Nah, nah, for sure. Like, <laughs> just like that nigga, dog. Niggas hey, fuck. hey, look though, shit, the nigga look more like him than I do. <laughs> shit, maybe I'm adopted. <laughs> nigga, both of them niggas tall, nigga beards, beard and shit. Like I think this nigga look more like my daddy than I do. <laughs> Like, who is this no, nigga? Like, I'm the brother, nigga. I'm like, damn, this nigga look just like this nigga, dog. dog. look just dog, like that, that nigga, bro, funny, for dog. sure. But no, that, that, that's for sure something that you want to know. Like I said, like I said, both kind of similar. And shit, since we on the road, nigga, we talking about the other two brothers, you already know. Mm-hmm. And this is something like, at some point, maybe I, hopefully they see this shit. So yeah. I ain't got to, I ain't got to write the letter in real life. Hell yeah. But you know what, you know what that question is, though, probably just uh, like with your moms. I'm really curious to know. Yeah. How how they feel about their childhood with, yeah. with with their you know with us having different sure. daddies and shit yeah. and like my mama transitioning from their daddy to to my old man yeah. and like them staying with my grandma like I would really want to ask them like yeah. 
did y'all have some some animosity with, with mom? So that's for both of them then. That's for no both separate, of them. Yeah. No, that's that, that's for both Hell of them. Yeah. And I'm curious because like in real life, shit, I would. Yeah, no, I would be sure. like, damn, you got this new nigga now. What, what you know? Yeah, yeah. new set kids. And, and and again, it, it might have not been that way. So I don't know. We mm-hmm. wasn't there, and them niggas don't talk about it. Yeah. So I would just ask yeah, them like, nah, what that shit feel yeah, like? Cause, somebody, uh, Cause like, how would you feel though? Like you. You and Mal, you know yeah. what I'm saying, and, and, then, and your mama. Yeah, did then, she, dip then off? she dip off, get yeah. a new dude, and shit. Then y'all stand with with, with my mama and some shit. Yeah, that'd be kind of bullshit. You'd be bit. like, damn, you got to be like, dog, what's, yeah. what's poppin'? But see, according to my mom, they had the choice. Okay, they see, had the choice. see, I didn't know that. Yeah, she said that they wanted to stay where they've been staying at. Okay, Cause I guess what they were staying with grandma before. They yeah. Had got together. Yeah. So in between time, so when she broke up with with uh, with your mom's dad, yeah. she moved back to the crib. Yeah. You know, yeah. How women so, do. Yeah. yeah. So she always say like, nigga, we had the choice. Yeah. yeah. So he like, I don't know if they knew that, but oh, see, I didn't realize yeah, that. See, so she, that's your mama. So of course y'all had a conversation. Yeah. I ain't had nobody had a conversation. Yeah. With so it, she yeah. like, nigga, I'm, I want to stay here. Nigga, other I'm than, cool. Other than the woman herself and shit, and yeah. yeah. <laughs> we. I don't know. How do you ask your mom for that though? Yeah, I, I wanted to know, but how, how do you ask your mom like that? Did you leave your kids? <laughs> like you can't ask your mom for that. Like that's disrespectful to the mom. I mean, you could, but see, me, me and my mom had a relationship. I, could I mean, once I got older, yeah, yeah but then, you know. but yeah, 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 but yeah, yeah she said they had the option, so I don't okay. know. Yeah, you got the option there, you got. Yeah, so got the, but. But also, at the end of the day, they, they probably just didn't want her ass to go with somebody else or something. I don't know. Hey, at the end of the day, though, dog, I ain't got no kids, but I yeah. feel like I don't know what options. you want to yeah. do. <laughs> you Shit. with me? <laughs> nigga, me and, my, me and my son, mom broke up, and he had no option. Like, nigga, you nah, here? Cause. You here? I don't you give a, a fuck what you talking yeah, about. You a, yeah. you a dude too? And like, I'm talking you go when you're, you're with your real mom. Like, nigga, hell no, nah, fuck that. Stay, <laughs> stay right here, dog. <laughs> right, stay right here. Like, now if it was a little girl, then maybe I uh, it'd probably be a little bit of an argument and shit like that, maybe. But a boy, no, I don't care. I ain't no argument with the girl unless unless the mama just trash. Yeah, yeah, she was gonna go with her. Cause, yeah, because I'm not even. Yeah, but I'm not doing that to her. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I'm fuck her up. Either she gonna be, either she gonna be fucking mannish. Yeah. <laughs> but I can tell you this: I wouldn't have had moved to Texas if she. I wasn't. No. Nah. Oh yeah, yeah. No, and I then she would talk about moving to another state. Oh shit, I'm on your tail. Yeah. <laughs> Like, nigga, you're right. I'm right there, dog. <laughs> or, so or her ass, well, re- I'm about to be saving money up because she about to be coming down, nigga. Every fucking, nah, for every sure. type of break, every type of anything, dog. Yeah. See, I went. My don't would be separate to my brothers because, of course, that's different because they yeah. both got the same mom and shit. Right, right. But to, of course, to Mel, you, I'd be like, did he feel like uh, niggas just left him high and dry? Because mm-hmm. you gotta think when my dad passed away, he was. Let me see how I'm 14, so he was seven. seven. Yeah. My mom passed away. Nigga had senior high school. Nigga about to mm-hmm. graduate. So I want to know if he feel like I want to know if he healed from that shit. You know shit, what I'm saying? Probably not. And if, if, if so, do he feel like he need to talk to somebody? Because of course you can talk to me, but talk to you, but there's only so much you are gonna get from us. Yeah, no, you know for what I'm sure. saying? You need somebody who just who, can really do this. <laughs> yeah, diagnose you and see <laughs> yeah. if you you know got some issues. So I want to know if he feel like he uh, he ain't healed enough, and maybe that. Up until now, he in the, like he in a good relationship. Like, did that stop him from trying to get with people or get in relationships or get tight with people? You know mm, what I'm saying? Like that fear of abandonment yeah, type yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. Because like, damn, was, nigga, I ain't never even thought of that. Yeah, he was in a relationship. That shit ended around that time. Damn. So it was like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Bro, that's wild. <laughs> I ain't even thought about that shit. So that's just something. Yeah, shout out to my little nigga, man. I always thought about that shit, bro. Like, I. I always thought about that shit. I just never talked about it because, yeah. like I said, niggas don't talk that much. Yeah, <laughs> we talk. I, hey, look, I'm definitely chopping this clip up there. Hey, look, we tagging that nigga. So, so then, now you ain't got to cry on his face and shit. Oh, no. Then my older brother, <laughs> I I would want to know if he feel like we are as close. We close, mm-hmm. but I feel like him and his oldest brother is closer. Mm-hmm. Like him and his older brother, Pepper, got the same... Uh, I don't know if he wanted to be called Pepper or, or Clarence, nigga, whatever, dog. But <laughs> well, it's too late <laughs> his now. His nickname is Pep. Yeah. But uh, they got the same mom. I, mean, mm-hmm. I always felt like their relationship was a little bit tighter. I feel they, like they, was, they actually grew up together, or not little, really a little bit. Damn, did, did they? Because I was so because he Jamal is nine years older than me. And right. I think he like ten years older than Jamal. Oh, so he okay. like a grown so ass he a grown, nigga. Okay, yeah. I got you, I got you, so yeah. like when I I never really like remember seeing him growing up or whatever. Uh, yeah. I know that nigga went to like the Navy and some shit, so he was like, mm-hmm. and that bitch from 18 until shit. I think he's, he's still in that motherfucker, oh, though. Damn. Okay. <laughs> he yeah. gets paper too, nigga. Yeah. That nigga got some money, though. Know? I could tell one time he took us <laughs> to the mall, niggas cast out everything. But no, <laughs> I want to know, like, like I think it's a little easier for, for Pep to get in touch with him than it is for me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, I don't know, I could be wrong, but I feel like he'll answer the phone well, quicker. Well, yeah, that's, 
that's that's big brother shit. They, they, yeah, you look at that like that. Yeah, big brother you shit. Like Candy call me niggas. Yeah. She the she the only one that get get through. Yeah, for sure. Every for time. Sure. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, but you you a little brother though. Right, that's what I'm saying, and he he his little brother, so he oh, accepting yeah, all yeah. them calls. Yeah. You're right, you're right, you're right, that's you're what right. I'm you're right. Yeah. And then every time Mel call, I'm asking that bitch yeah. every time. But I'm asking for anybody. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Like, you know. Now that nigga don't do you like that though. Mel, yeah, oh yeah, that nigga might answer for some time, but he call back though. Yeah, he call back at some point. <laughs> yeah, man. but no, I want to know like, do he feel like we are as uh, close as we could be? I ain't mm-hmm. even gonna put Pep in there. Is, is he? Are we as close as we could be? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel like. You know, of course, we're nine years apart and shit like that, but it was a lot of times in life, like, I feel like he only called me to make sure, like, kind of, like, discipline me a little bit. I mean, or, like, that's part of being check. a big brother. But sometimes I need, like, some, I don't know, maybe some, I don't know. I don't know how I word it. Maybe some, a little bit more advice, like, and don't just give me advice once I'm fucking up. Yeah. Just keep me. That's wild, though, because I'm thinking about that shit. Yeah. I ain't never gotten neither one of those <laughs> from my brothers. Yeah. I mean, that ain't, ain't no deal. No, I'm just saying. Like, nigga, you fuck it up. Nobody called yeah. me to check me. Like, hey, yeah. nigga, what you, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah, that shit. Yeah, so, yeah. I just think, I, I think it would be like, I just would be like, damn, I wish we would have been having a little bit more conversation with yeah. each other. I, I got that more from yeah. your mom and, 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 and Candy. Yeah, yeah, for sure, yeah. So, from my sisters, I get it. For sure, yeah. My brother's shit is kind of like, hey, nigga, you out here living. Go yeah, because like you, you probably got the most tough love from, like, my mom. Your mom, shit, right? for yeah. sure. For sure. Like, you talk shit, everything. Hands down. Yeah, but. Yeah, maybe I just, maybe it was just a little bit more uh, a more conversation between the two of us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I felt like shit because I was I was already young as fuck, mm-hmm. so I couldn't kick it with the nigga. Yeah. Then nigga went to college and never moved back to Detroit. Yeah. So I was like, hey nigga, I feel like sometimes when I call, nigga, you should answer a little bit more, nigga. And I'm sure that's that's how my little brother probably felt too and shit. Yeah. Though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then what what was cool about when he came up, shit. Um, he got a chance to meet my other brothers and shit. Yeah, for you know? sure. Hell so yeah. Hell that yeah. was cool. Man. Yeah, Mal got weed for him and shit. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> that shit was crazy, dog. He did, dog. Yo, get some weed for my little brother. Like, your little brother. Like, yeah, nigga, we talk about it later. <laughs> nigga, yeah, nigga about the same age and shit, dog. Nah, yeah. the whole hood t- got turned on. Like, it's your little brother. Like, yeah, it's my little brother. Dog. Hell yeah, dog. Nah, that shit crazy, dog. But, every, like, when the nigga pulled up, everybody knew. That nigga looked just like your dad. Like, yeah, he's my yeah. brother, nigga. God damn, that's why. Hell yeah, dog. <laughs> But yeah, that shit crazy, though. But yeah. yeah, it was a crazy conversation, nigga. It was. Didn't even know it was going to go there. But, yeah. Yeah. All right, nigga. Thanks for that. Yeah. <laughs> Quick therapy of this bitch. Hell no. So he got some shit. Uh, all American. I mean, American dream. Mm-hmm. What's the American dream for you, dog? Like, what do you feel like the American dream? Like, basically, like, the end goal or just, you know, how you feel like life should be? My my personal American dream, of course, is to just to to be able to do all the things that I want to do yeah. without worrying about it. For sure, like it's, it's something it's something freeing about wanting something and mm-hmm. just being able to go get it. Yeah. Um, my overall American dream, though, and this is probably you know cliche or some shit, but it's for people to really start acting like we all fucking human beings, bro. Yeah. And stop all the fucking divisiveness. Yeah. Because at the yeah. end of the day, dog, it, it actually works better if niggas, niggas can work together. No, for sure. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. it's just simple as that. It, 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 that's super simple, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, that shit probably yeah. not gonna happen. That shit, yeah. And, and for politicians to quit lying and shit for my vote because yeah. you're not really doing shit. Like, those are my yeah. overall American dreams, but my personal shit... It's just to be in a, a position where I'm comfortable enough to mm. be able to do shit without fucking worrying about it. Yeah. See, yeah. I, I, I guess American Dream overall is like just to make sure that everybody's in that position to be able to be comfortable. Facts. As far yeah. as like, you know what I'm saying, checking out how it is with with, uh, with wages, you know, pay, uh, with pay wage, mm-hmm. uh, and then uh, making that equal to how it is to live, uh, fucking grocery shopping, just Man. everyday life, nigga, like it don't. It add up, dog. Yeah. That shit don't add up. A lot, of, a lot of math don't be math. Yeah. Yeah. And sure. then, like, nigga, if, if if this is minimum wage, then all right, bet. Then we already know what we gotta do according to those people and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then, of course, the niggas will get money. They go, they still get money, but yeah. right. They still <laughs> but I think money. it should just be a. Uh, and I ain't saying that for the lazy niggas. It's niggas who really working. Yeah. They should have a, a, nah, I ain't gonna say equal playing field, but just a, a, a chance to survive. Yeah, lazy niggas always go fall off. So yeah. they, but lazy niggas always want to survive it too, nigga. Like they want to <laughs> get right. over it. You right. And then my personal American dream, just like you said, being able to do shit without having to worry. Yeah. That's all, dog. Making sure that my kids got an uh, opportunity because either yeah. they gonna take advantage of it or they not. But just yeah. as long as they got opportunity and shit. Yeah, and just not even nothing all super extra. Just like. Shout out to uh, shout out to Candy and uh, Angry Principal and shit, dog. Like with their kids, cause we you talking about I'm coming up in a in a family where 
Like we did, we did take a few uh, summer trips <clears throat> down uh, down south to where you know my people had some some uh, some land and shit like that. But like for the most part, we didn't do a lot of traveling outside of that. Yeah, yeah. Didn't do a whole lot of activities and shit. So like when I look at them and shit, like their kids got stamps on their passports, bro. <laughs> Nigga, I ain't got that. No, you feel me? Like I got one, like, <laughs> and I got that bitch as an adult. Man. So I'm just like, like they changing. The generational no, for shit, sure, for sure. And, that, and that's that's just that's for part sure. of American dream too. Yeah. Just that for your kids, your nieces and nephews and shit, and just the 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 next generation to experience life a little better than yeah. we did. And see, that's what I'm trying to make sure with um the, my two youngest, because Rashad had he, he ain't been out of the country, but with me staying in a different state, his mama staying in a different state, he yeah. ain't been around. He like, been around, yeah. you know what I'm saying? He been to Texas, Michigan, Florida, like yeah. you know what I'm saying? He he been moving around a little bit. For sure. So, you know, because some niggas only, like you said, don't get off the west, east side, nigga. So. Dog, never leave the block, bro. Hell yeah. I know niggas personally. Yeah. I ain't never seen them niggas leave. Like, yeah. damn, that shit got to be fucked up because it's almost like a, a hamster, nigga. <laughs> Just running around that motherfucking <laughs> circle, dog. Like, no, it's, it's a good way to explain this shit. Yeah, it's like, yeah. nigga, this all you know, nigga. Eat, drink, mm -hmm. shit, <laughs> sleep, and run this fucking circle, nigga. Dog, I'm telling you, even, even for you, dog, like, I know you probably... You probably chalk it up to you know the struggle and mm -hmm. or you know what your plan was at the time and shit, but like that that move to Texas and shit, yeah. like it, no. it was good. No, that shit helped. That shit helped. Like it was nigga. a lot of shit. Like it was you I know some times we wanted to quit and nigga. it it just didn't make sense. But like duh. it made sense in the grand I, scheme. Yeah, of things. I needed that shit, dog. Because without sure. that shit, it was it, it was kind of made it easier to navigate now. Because yeah. you could be in a whole different state, nigga. That's it. Across the. Oh, damn near across the map. That's it. Nigga, like, fuck it. Like, damn. I'm telling you. Now, see, like, I, I did that when I was in Colorado and shit, but, like, nigga, you did that shit with a kid. <laughs> Hell yeah. So, I'm like, Duh. shit, I ain't got nothing for that. Hell yeah. Because, like, I, I, if I'm hungry, I'm just hungry. Duh. Nigga, if, if you hungry, that nigga that hungry, nigga, that shit, shit, we in trouble. That shit was crazy as hell, but I had to learn how to get my cook on everything, nigga. Duh, for sure. So, that shout out dope. to that, man. Hell yeah, nigga. So, uh. I would say dark days, but shit, that's probably your dark days, nigga. We went to <laughs> well, when I went there, yeah. No, nah, sure. I, I, it, it wasn't bad. It was yeah. it was scary because like then you know, still everything was you know was on me and shit. But it was yeah. just me. But I wouldn't call that you know necessarily scary. And shit. I well, fuck it, nigga. I, I thought about this too last night when I was just sitting there chilling and shit, dog. Mm -hmm. Watching uh, I don't know what the fuck I was watching. <laughs> watching Q the Family Man. <laughs> How would uh, what what okay, what? How could you see yourself as like bro. dad, husband, like? <laughs> bro, I'm gonna tell you like this. Dog. Doing the same shit every day, you know, saying coming home, same routine, type of shit. The funniest shit is, is that like I don't, I don't see myself as being like a family man, like yeah. being the dad and motherfucking, you know, all that, all that shit. But the the crazy thing about that though is that most women I know, for whatever reason. Think that I'd be a hell of a motherfucking dad. They got, I don't know why. I don't know. Like, I honestly don't even know where they getting this concept from. But um, a lot of women f seem to think that I would be a great dad. I, I don't know. I think I never really seen myself as being a great father, yeah. which is why I avoided having kids and shit. Now, yeah. I'm old as hell. I'm like, one, damn, well, give me one you still out. I, <laughs> it's probably some selfish shit, but. I kind of do just because, like, I don't want to grow old by myself and shit. Like, no, you know, for sure, for sure. Yeah, in case my wife, shit. you know, my wife, if, if I ever get married and shit, if my, yeah. my wife dies and shit, like, I I need, a, I need a kid to make do shit and yeah. take care of me and shit. What, what TV dad <laughs> would you compare yourself to, nigga, if you would? <laughs> Who do you think you would be? No, I ain't gonna lie, dog. I'll be like, I think, I, I feel like I would be like Uncle Phil, dog. Mm -hmm. Like, I really, I really feel like that yeah. and shit, dog. I, like, cause I, I want to be in a position to, to make sure that my kids can have anything they want, mm -hmm. but I also want to be in a position to let them know, like, yeah. nigga, life ain't always this easy, so you got to work for that shit. At first, I thought we was going to, you know, I only had one kid, so I thought we was going to be like Lamar and Fred, nigga, Red Fox and shit. <laughs> I thought we was going to be like that for a minute, nigga, right. like, just kicking the strong. But shit, I see myself like a, right. I don't know, like a cross between, like, Uncle Phil and motherfucking, uh... What's his name? Uh, James Evans and shit, nigga. Just yeah. like, <laughs> just cause I'll be able to cuss these niggas out sometimes and shit, dog. <laughs> As that be, uh, this ain't right, James. Like, no, fuck right. that. It is right. Yeah. <laughs> but she, she wanted, no, fuck that. I wouldn't let her hold us back like she did, nigga. Florida Evans held them back. Yeah, no, nah, that's for hey, sure. Time, that ain't the good. That's that's the devil money. Like, well, we spending that motherfucking devil money, nigga. Right. Her, her ass, dog. <laughs> yeah, she held them back. I ain't gonna lie yeah, to but you. But I was, I was wondering, nigga, like, as far as like, the, do you think about that shit? Like, how life would be if you just like corporate come home mm -hmm. dinner on the table 
Well, for one, I'm never going to be completely corporate. Yeah. So, like, even having a corporate job, I'm still going to be doing, like, you know, my outside shit, like the, the mm-hmm. shit that I love to do. Mm-hmm. So, I think that because of that, I think it'll be a little bit different. I think it'll be a little more quirky. Like, it won't yeah. be to a to a schedule. For sure. That's for sure. But what, what I think I would um, implement, though, which is something that I, I think helped me <clears throat> from, from candy and shit, is just I think that if I had a son, yeah. we would do a whole lot of reading. Sure. And the only reason I say that is because like we just don't do that a lot with boys. At all. Like you got daughters and shit, they have a million fucking books. And they like that shit. And they like that yeah. shit. But like we get boys and shit, we you know, Look, we shit, do... I ain't gonna lie, you I know you're reading ass nigga, but I was never like it only because of candy. Yeah. Like it's not like it's not like the parents was like, Hey, yeah, get these read. books and yeah. shit. Yeah. But because they did that shit with her, I guess <laughs> I don't know if she was looking out for me or she was just mad that she had to do it. <laughs> you gonna read, nigga, but yeah. hey, it helped out, I gotta dog. read, you gonna read. But yeah, yeah it helped out, dog. And real quick story about that shit, dog. I, I think I've told this shit before. But like, dog, in the summertime, bro, mm-hmm. I used to be upstairs in that hot-ass attic, It's hot that bitch. Reading like a motherfucker. In yeah. the summer. Yeah. Like, she would make me do that shit every day for like two hours. <laughs> like, I couldn't even go outside. And when I said she make me do it, she make me do it. She ain't my mama. Did you, did you have to have the co- come back report like what you read? Dog, we had to read and talk about that shit in Dog, two hours. That's crazy. I never knew that shit. Dog, in the summertime, niggas outside playing and shit. Yeah, and she and like, no, nah, we we got to go do this reading shit. What was your favorite book? Like, uh, the one that stick out the most like from them childhood days. <laughs> Dog, funny as hell, nigga. I ain't going to hold you up. Nancy Drew, bro. Nancy Drew. Yes. No. You you hit the Nancy Drew? I know, but I'm... Nancy Drew was a girl detective, I remember, dog. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was like, they was kids. They was teenagers, though. Yeah. Nancy Drew and the Hardy Boys. <laughs> dog. Nancy Drew, the great... Oh, fuck was it? The great... Oh. It was a mystery with these niggas on the ski lodge, dog. Yeah. I can't... It was like the great ski lodge mystery. Some shit like that, dog. Yeah. Look that shit up, though. Nancy Drew. Nancy Drew, yeah. Dog, when I tell you, for whatever reason... That uh we do we was reading like way before that though. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That was back when niggas used to have uh reading books at school. Remember oh, yeah, that shit, yeah, for sure. For the hell, only yeah. book I remember is Flights, though. For whatever reason. I can't tell you that one reading book, nigga. It's the only one I remember. It was like the blue joint. I, I wanna yeah. say maybe that was fourth grade or something. Cause it was like yeah, because they had like different, different books and shit for like each um each grade. Yeah, but I'm saying like didn't you like have like a couple of different books for like each semester or each like some shit like that. It was like like that. Explorer, I, the only one I remember flights. yeah, I remember the spelling book. I do remember oh, the spelling book. Because yeah. the spelling book, not only did you have the spelling words, but you had like sentences, you had to do alphabetical order. Definition. All type yeah. of shit. Definition, nigga. Mm-hmm. Like, like now, that shit different. Like, they just do a straight up spelling test. Yeah. But now you just have to do that shit, nigga. Like, using a sentence, definitions, ABC order, yeah. um, crossword puzzles. Duh. Spelling used to be my shit, though. Nigga, I, math was my shit until I got in the uh, ninth grade. Math ain't never but been spelling, my shit. But spelling, nigga, I used to be, that bitch like, man. <laughs> Fucking up like a motherfucker, dog. Yeah. But like math and history was my shit. Dog, I could never. I didn't get in history until yeah. I got old. English? Oh, fuck that. Yeah, I fucking science was shit. okay. Like until they started incorporating that math. Like I said, in high school, that math shit was nigga. That shit was difficult, nigga. Yeah, science <laughs> definitely equals math. Yeah, because right? like before you just doing experiments and shit like that, figuring shit out. <laughs> but you get in high, in high school, nigga. Like, oh yeah, it's math, nigga. Oh yeah, this math is on steroids. Another math, nigga. It's chemistry. But, oh my god, god damn. Chemistry, dog. Man. I was that bitch cheat my ass off, nigga. No, nah, real <laughs> quick story about chemistry. I had a uh, doctor. Oh fuck, Dr. Umar. Doctor, <laughs> Doctor Cuban, I think it was. What's the? I, I want to say it was Doctor Cuban and shit. Uh, it's a white dude and shit. He was our chemistry teacher, man. Yeah. And uh, this was the first time that that I uh, that I was confronted with the idea that white people wasn't really excited about the advancement of black people, right? Yeah. Never had a problem with Doctor Cuban and shit, right? Cuba or Cuban? Cuba. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So, um, it was 95 and shit, right? Mm-hmm. So, it was fucking uh, the Million Man March. <laughs> and I remember, uh, we was at school on the day that Million Man March. A yeah. couple of the homies yeah. actually was able to go with their dad and them to uh, yeah, fucking I, D.C. I was supposed to go. My dad granddad went. Yeah. So, they happened to go. And then, like, for whatever reason, like, it came up in the conversation at school. And be like, fuck that. And, bro, like. I wish I could tell you in details the things that he was saying about uh, Minister Farrakhan and shit and, and like that whole movement yeah. to where I realized then like damn this man been teaching me this whole time he but fuck with it. he really don't yeah. fuck with my culture yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. Whenever, that was that was a realization that kind of fucked me up bro when I live in Texas I realized how racist these niggas was who worked with me when they got so mad about the whole um damn 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 what 
what's my man name, dog, who had uh, Mike Brown. Yeah. When that shit had happened. All right, no, no. He, was, he was down there. No, the Trayvon Martin shit. Tra- okay. Nigga, they was like, oh, Damn, he was down there. Then? Yeah, shit. I was there for both. Right. But he was like, nigga, oh, they, they, he was in the wrong and this, that, and the third, and he shouldn't been walking around got hoodie on like this. I'm like, bro, what? Duh, right. I'm like, so you mean to tell me a nigga just can't walk in his neighborhood with a hoodie on, and you supposed to go ahead and and, and just let some random nigga, the neighborhood watch nigga, yeah. like tell you like to get the fuck on or whatever it was, like right. he ain't got the motherfucking. The rights to even come and do or even approach me on on, on nothing. Man. Like you ain't the police, nigga. So we argue about that shit, bro. I'm like, dog, this this is crazy. Like, yeah, when you really see the other perspective, it's like, damn, bro, that's, yeah. that's wild. Yeah, dog. Then I remember, I, I think we got to, we got. I know we got to argument about that for sure. Um, I think we got to argument about, about the whole Mike Brown shit, dog. Mm-hmm. I was I was back in Detroit. When <laughs> dog whole, might have been on some bullshit. Huh? Though. Dog might have been on some bullshit. He, but dog. he was, but he surrendered. <laughs> yeah, he surrendered. He surrendered. But like my dog, stay out, stay off bullshit though. I mean, stay off bullshit, yeah, but stay off bullshit, you though. gotta look at the bullshit that the white people be doing. They just oh, get nah. away. I'm, I'm, not taking, I'm yeah. not taking anything away from that. And then I'm thinking about, I think I was there for the what's for the um the was it the Sterling shit? I think I was down there for that too. Was you? I think so. The I'm talking about the we the, got the, the Clippers. No, no, not down Sterling. Oh shit! What we talking? About? I, I'm talking about my man um, who got choked out by the police. Oh right, right, right. okay. Yeah. Oh, shit, which which one? Of these? I mean, that was the dude who um, cause you got the dude who got choked out by the police for selling the bootleg CDs. Yeah. That was a uh, big dude. Yeah. But you had that one dude. I forgot what it was. But it was a fight. Did he get? Did he get choked or did he get shot? Damn! It's like damn. they all they all running together, and I and I look it up. Yeah. Cause I'm damn near embarrassed to say that I can't. They running together. Duh. I can't remember. And that, and that that in itself just speaks to the fucked up situation we in. Like so many people have uh, been murdered by the police that it's hard to keep the situations together. Hey, I'm, I know uh, you're talking about the, the, the name. I, I just can't. Uh, 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 Alton Sterling. Yes, I so, just couldn't keep them all together. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Like I forgot how he had died. Uh, I like, mm-hmm. I know uh, body cam footage. Uh, policeman killing. Uh, Alton Sterling yeah. so his officer threatening to shoot the man and screaming before firing a fatal shot that um, uh, where was it at though that's what I think that's the part that was I, in, I think that was in Louisiana okay that's I'll, the part I gotta remember yeah I think that was that was in Louisiana because yeah, like, so, the other shit with the one dude who got choked out he was hey, I knew he was from New York he kept saying bodega yeah you know? yeah he was from New York yeah so yeah that's the that's the shit they, they, they and shot and all the motherfuckers in Minnesota like shit yeah, uh, so they, they said they yeah. had shot him uh, six times. Damn. Yeah, duh, so. Yeah, that shit crazy. But hey, it's, it's fucked up. There's so many of them. There's so many they, they gotta, run together. Yeah. Just like just like dog name, and I, I I hate that I can't remember. The shit, young boy? No, nah, the, uh, the the dog dog out in, uh, I want to say Baltimore, I think. Floyd? They, uh, oh, no, 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 Floyd wasn't in Baltimore. No, nah, when, uh, like, they had detained dog and shit, but they had kicked his ass so bad, he ended up dying in the back of the paddy wagon and shit. Oh, I forgot about that nigga. I mean, my, my man, he was a teacher, right? Some shit, He was dog. a teacher. He had the dress, and they came in, because wasn't his, uh... There's so many of them. His girl was in the car or something? No, nah, not that one. That, that, he got shot and shit. Nah, this, Yo, uh, that shit crazy. Bro. It's crazy. I mean, we just name it, dog. That's what I'm saying. Because that was a teacher. That was a teacher, because he, he couldn't find out he was working he with a lot of white kids. For some shit, yeah. Yeah. Dog, that's... That's what I'm saying. That Duh, shit crazy, that right? Shit cr- crazy. That, that many situations like that they running yeah. together, bro. And it's crazy because we putting them motherfuckers in pieces like a puzzle, dog. Yeah. Well, say on the that shit. Running together. Do you think old girl who had got detained by police? Do you think they killed her? Hmm. Remember, um, You're talking about here? No, no, no. I forgot where it was at, but she had a traffic stop. And oh, and she, she ended up dying. Yeah. And then it's like they had. I still don't know what. Yeah. They, they claim she killed her, so. Yeah, duh. But I still not sure hell no, exactly hey. what happened. Yeah, they, they that was down south too, I believe. Man, yeah, I'm man. still not sure what happened with that. Yeah, though. that's what they, they say she killed herself. But like, you know, I, but like why? Just off of traffic, like you ain't do shit, you ain't murder nobody. Like, so right. why you gonna go in that bitch and just off yourself? Like, man, yeah, hell so. no, that shit crazy. Dog. Yeah, it's crazy as hell, niggas. A lot of shit. Yeah, yeah, but um, <laughs> right, off that we, shit, dog. Right off that shit. Yeah, shit made me mad again. But yeah. we got a lot of verses. Going on, dog, in the, mm. in the in the year 2024, dog. A lot of niggas going to each other, dog. I'm gonna name a few of them. We gonna we can talk about them little by little, <laughs> shit. First, you got Detroit versus Mister Ch- uh, Chime Time, dog. <laughs> you got that one, nigga. I know we can talk about that. <laughs> we one. can talk about. You that. got Sebastian Telfair versus all New York Hoopers. Mm. You know Sebastian Telfair, right? Yeah, for sure. He claimed he like the he claimed he is the best New York Hooper 
as far as like height high school mm-hmm. he not talking about NBA a whole body of work but he felt like he did the most in as high a high school. school dude or whatever coming from the city of New York mm-hmm. or the state of New York yeah. so you got that shit going on and fucking Ray for Austin and Mark Jackson was like oh this nigga on drugs <laughs> he like, said dog on drugs cause then you got you got to think about the New York niggas that was there everybody talked highly on Kenny Anderson uh, you got Lou Alcindor who was Korean dude Jabbar mm-hmm. you got motherfucking uh, Ray for Austin you got that one dude who was a fucking that's what I want to argue about on that aspect is niggas say about the dude who played in rebound, Ed Manigo. Yeah. That, that nigga got famous just from high school. Yeah, because he, he did he play? He, he, I think he beat. Did he play in college? Uh, he played in college, but I think that's where his downfall went in yeah. college. He started doing drugs. Okay. But if you look at the movie, yeah, he, was giving it, the, yeah. he was giving it to NBA niggas in the, at the Rucker. Like, yeah. He was going at what's ain't said. He was like one of the hardest niggas he ever competed against. Uh, Kareem. Yeah. So nigga, this nigga was a little nigga too. They was just killing niggas like <laughs> Earl the Manigo. Yeah, Earl Manigo. <laughs> nigga, I'm an epic nigga. I watch that movie all the time. I always get sad when niggas start doing the drugs though. Like fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and then you got Stephon Marbury. The they say that movie he got game was about him. Oh damn, I didn't realize. They always, that. Say, it was, they always say it was about him. Yeah. It, you know, it was in Coney Island. He from Coney Island. Mm, and all that, all that shit, though. Mm. So you got uh, Sebastian Taffer versus all New York Hoopers. Shan Sharp, Sharp versus Stack Five. Stephen Jackson. Stephen Jackson, he sound like a hater. He, he kind of sound like a hater. Yeah. I hated to hear that yeah, shit. Yeah, like, bro, let, that nigga, like, yeah. let, let, let him live. You got uh, yeah. Stephen A. Smith versus Jason Whitlock. <laughs> He called him a fat bitch, and that was just funny, dog. Uh, <laughs> I'm here both say he don't know which one he like worse. He, or he, he like oh, no, least. No, I rather. hate Jason Whitlock. Me Steve too. A. Smith, he I, for the I people, give him but... a pass. I give him a pass because he been, since he been doing this shit on his own. Yeah, he been reaching out to the other niggas He been kind of different. She yeah. up out Cameron Mace. Yeah. Uh, Kelly Stafford versus Lions fans. <laughs> She mad she can't get that sweet, nigga. Like, right. And they talk about they go ban his fucking jerseys. For oh, yeah. The state. I will too, nigga. I fuck with Stafford, but fuck that, nigga. We going, you and Emmy tomorrow, nigga. I'm on Sunday. Duh. You got uh, Cat Wood versus every comedian. Yeah. And then you got the Detroit shit, dog. Yeah. Dog face versus stretch money. <sighs> All right, bro. I I don't know, dog. You know what I'm saying? But he be he a bit much. Yeah, I, man. And again, I man, I ain't knee deep in the industry, mm-hmm. so I don't know like what niggas' real stripes be about. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like I'm on the outside looking in. So niggas sure. who are in the industry, they probably understand all this shit. Like why niggas so mad? Cause like yeah. dog, like bad. Yeah. And everybody is saying like I. But I don't know. I don't, yeah, he met a lot of people, but it seemed like he trying to like. Like look out, look out for the Detroit people and shit. Detroit, okay. but I don't know where whole stress money shit came from, dog. I remember um some shit happened. I think Peasy was on his show, and for some reason they got into a little argument of uh, mm-hmm. stress money and Peasy about something about some about rec label or some. So so what it was, or from what I understand, again, like I, I'm not really yeah, in the industry sure. like that, but I think what they were saying was basically. Um, Peasy was, you know, hot, got a little movement going on and shit. And mm-hmm. Stretch was looking at an opportunity mm-hmm. where he could be like on a record label under Peasy or yeah. whatever. But then, like somewhere in there, yeah. he felt like he got slighted it, and shit. Yeah, it was. Like, so then, so, about put money up or some shit like yeah, that. Yeah. So then, and then I, I guess in the grand scheme of things, niggas just start feeling like each one of them was trying to little dog, yeah. you know, the other. I think the whole So shit, that just go that just go down to ego. I think the shit that whoever reached out to him from PZ came, I think it was, it was some fake shit. It, it could have been. You know who fuck stress money is. You know he ain't got paid to promote himself in the city. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So All it's right. like an up and coming rapper, I get it. So you know, he felt like he little dog yeah. and shit. So then you know how that goes. Yeah, now yeah. now it's old niggas against young niggas, ain't it? Yeah. And we we real divisive like that for in sure. the city of Detroit, bro. For sure. And then you had Al Newt going uh the other podcast and was talking shit. I don't never name it, niggas podcast. Yeah. Really no, you know, another old nigga. An- yeah. Another old nigga like me, right? So I, I get it, right? Because yeah. we old niggas, we from a different era yeah. and shit. And when young niggas started talking shit, it's like, nigga, get in your place type yeah, shit. Sure. And that, that's just how Detroit yeah. built. Unfortunately, it's like that, but yeah. I, I don't just, know what to do with it. It's crazy. And then, um, so, so Dollface, like I said, I don't know. I knew that shit with the whole stretch and... Al Nuke stretch and Peasy shit. Mm-hmm. I guess Dollface fell into it because he had interviewed Peasy or whatever. I don't know how he put himself into the situation. But I uh, mean, he he involved in a lot of niggas like industry shit. Cause I I think like, like I, I think I think he do like the marketing and oh. management for niggas and shit. Yeah. So like he on that side of the game. Yeah. So yeah, and that's why I really don't know because yeah. I don't know shit about that side again. About stress money, I guess being like a uh, fucking uh, uh, DoorDasher and shit. <laughs> 
And then he was talking shit about. Hey, niggas make a living off that shit. Hell yeah, niggas make some money off that shit. If you do that shit right, nigga. Right, shit. you're an entrepreneur, nigga. Hell yeah, fuck that shit, nigga. Hey, you right. can just drive around, nigga, get some money. Fuck shit. Yeah, right. And then um, I guess he said the reason why he ain't going down because of his, his baby mama, daughter, I mean, his daughter and shit, and baby mama saying, like, ease up. But then stress money on that bitch. <laughs> call, he, no, funny shit, he called that nigga Big Bye. Like, it's just a big buy, because I guess he had said that he was, if he keep talking shit, the dog face nigga was going to send a, a dick pic. So then, <laughs> it's a whole bunch of crazy what? shit, dog. Yeah, dog. I ain't see that so shit, So then, that nigga was on his, on his story, like, this nigga big buy, this nigga, this, that, and the third. Like, it's just crazy, bro. Like <laughs> He go send him a dick pic. Dog, was, what? I hope, he, I, hope, I, hope, I hope that was like, he was just talking shit, nigga, like. I don't even understand. I hope understand. you don't do that shit, nigga. Like, I don't even understand what's happening. I guess we can happening. pause that whole little thing and shit, nigga. Yeah, pause that whole conversation. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck. I don't give a fuck how bad you make me, nigga. I ain't about to send you a piece. <laughs> like, hey, hey, nigga, you, nigga, fuck you, nigga. Here go my dick, nigga. Like, All right, like, what? Yeah, dog. So it just... I don't I, know. And I'm not saying this with, with these two individuals, bro, but on social media, just so much pick up your phone and screaming, yeah. talking shit. Like, that just takes too yeah. much energy, dog. For me, it do. I, that takes too much energy, man. And then what happened, like... Like, I don't think Stress Money got a problem with him. I think mm-hmm. it was a v- vice versa. I don't know. I could be wrong. But whoever got a problem with whoever, just, hey, just pull up to a nigga and just, hey, what up? Yeah, hash like, that shit up. Yeah, either y'all scrap or y'all, or y'all get this shit together, nigga, one or two, nigga. But I don't know. Detroit always going to be yeah, like that, It's though. pointless, dog. Like, yeah. I just, and like I said, this ain't corn to niggas. I'm just tired of niggas picking up their phone and screaming at that bitch, dog. Yeah, nah, because cause they doing this shit. Yeah, dog, for sure. All right, so, I, while we on the Detroit shit, though, I want to go ahead and move to dog shit. Man, for sure. No fucking yeah. uh, chime time. He been in this bitch for a minute, too. So I want to give him a show. bro. I, y'all <laughs> niggas, like, bro, he a full critic. Yeah. And, and the, the fucking marketing and magic of the shit, though, is is what I understood. For sure. However this shit is rolling, I don't even follow that nigga, but his shit, I keep, start following him. His shit keep coming in my feed. Yeah. I don't have to follow him. No, you don't. So I'm like, damn, I see what he did. Yeah. So he came to this bitch and talked so much shit and to make to, you he's mad. He's still here, though. Yeah, probably so. Like, yeah, yeah. He is. To to make that, so now you watching every one. Yeah, and sure. that shit worked like mad, just like yeah. some Fifty Cent shit. Hell yeah, hell yeah. So dog. now he and and I ain't gonna lie, dog. I love my city, dog. It's but he fuck. wasn't lying about cuz Oh was, hell, no, he wasn't about cuz That shit. Trash. Hell yeah, fucking whole ass, <laughs> fucking whole ass greens they had and fucking uh, I had got the uh, salmon croquette. That shit was trash. Yeah. But what I what I don't like though is that you know. Mm. An outsider can come in and make us start warring against each other. Yeah, like like he come in and talk shit, and now we in the comments fighting each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. D- don't do that though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't tripping because he do go to different places and shit yeah. and do this shit. But yeah, uh, nigga, fool, crazy like dog. Yeah. He he owns social media. You motherfuckers yeah. pipe down. Plus, it's his taste buds, nigga. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and they, it's some shit that you like that I think is disgusting. And vice versa. Exactly, bro. Nigga, it's I'm not that serious. Yeah, I'm not eating nothing with ranch, nigga. But you gonna be like, oh, you gonna fuck with ranch, cuz like, nigga. <laughs> But no, like, out of control. he did get what's name right though, correctly, nigga. What's I ain't find out about this spot till I move on um, towards the west side, nigga. Lose Delhi, nigga, not the one by hmm. uh by uh Eastern Market, Southfield, nigga. No, Southfield. The one on on uh by yeah. uh Mary Grove. What's that? That's six miles. Six miles. Yeah, yeah six miles, Wyoming. That's nigga, the original. That, well, I don't know if it's Wyoming, but it's on six miles. Yeah. Six miles lose, nigga. He said yeah. that was the number one uh corned beef. Uh, that's the, that's the original joint. Yeah. yeah, that shit. It is good, nigga, because we that went there. That shit fire. The one in Southfield is the one that's disgusting. Yeah, that shit yeah. trash. It's by the hospital. Um, yeah, um, by Providence. Providence, yeah. That shit, yeah. I went there. Yeah, that one that one trash. When we had went, um, we had the baby at Providence, nigga, I went there yeah. and got, my, that shit was ass. But yeah. the one on Six Mile, nigga, that shit is great, nigga. That bitch yeah. delicious, bro. I ain't, I, never, ain't never been better than Louis to me, though. And Louis is down by Eastern Market. Okay, okay. I ain't never yeah. been. He went there, though. Yeah. He had Louis, I think. I think he had Louis, nigga, out of, yeah, number five or something. I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's one. That's Do it sell pizza? One. Mm-mm. Okay. Oh shit! I don't guess. No, it's a yeah. corned beef and ham joint. Okay, okay. Then he did the piece of shit. Mm. Like everything. So he you did, seen that fifty dollar piece? I'm going one of them bitches. Yeah, let's get it, dog. Cause they, <laughs> yeah, that, bitch one of that bitch a feed. That bitch a feed. Everybody was. Everybody at the party. Six inch boy, nigga. Yeah. Like pause, nigga. But that shit, nigga. That shit look delicious. Hell, nigga. Pause. Hell yeah, that shit. I want that shit. It's about Vizzy's. Uh, yeah, Vizzy's. Yeah, yeah, it's out there. Uh, not too far from me, I guess in Westland. So Westland, yeah. One of them drunk days, you just gotta let me know ahead of time. I go out there and get that bitch. Though. Yeah, you gotta have that bitch. I ain't gonna lie. Like you gotta order that shit, nigga. Like and probably like you gotta be halfway to crib so that shit tastes good when you get it, nigga. So it'd be, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. And ain't one of the ones that you want to enjoy that shit without. Of course, you might have to warm it up, but you don't want that shit to be too cold. Nigga. Yeah, hell yeah. But yeah, I, and he ain't named some places that was straight. Like he named a place that I never knew about. Mm. Um, that's like 
downtown area or whatever. I forgot the name of it, but yeah, yeah he named some straight places in. He ain't said some places he ain't white, nigga. But yeah. ain't no point in getting mad at this nigga, dog. Niggas Don't do nothing to big this nigga. Mad, dog. He had a strip club, nigga. You you got wings from a strip club, you supposed to get lamb chops, nigga. Like. I mean, that's Detroit shit, though. Yeah, it's, that, it's but he true. don't know. It's true. He don't know. And I think they was right by telling him that, No, though. for sure. Yeah. For sure. For sure. Because it, 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 was, it was odd, though, when he said yeah. he was getting wings from that bitch. Like, yeah, I, I don't know any of the strip clubs that's famous for their wings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Fucking yeah. lamb chops, though? For sure. But Same you know way. what I thought would have been brilliant if What's he up? did it with, like, if he came down here, like, if he go to each, um, whatever, each city, each state. Mm-hmm. But you get like the hood rapper nigga and just go go where he go. Now if yeah. you came out here with Vezo or Peasy, yeah. Peasy would been cause we know Peasy a big dude. Yeah. That should have been straight. Him and Peasy riding around going yeah. he, he take him to the hood. Like of course he do his shit in the suburbs. Yeah, whatever. it's kinda like how uh what's called it was except it was all them though. What uh on the run eating and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But when you go to like, your 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 urban cities, go ahead and reach out to a rapper so they ain't gonna do that but make your shit even bigger than what it is. Yeah. Well yeah. He, he he can now because he yeah. even made a name for himself, so mm-hmm. he can now. But I think I look at that, that's had gonna that. be a problem too, though. Why? Because he say it's trash around the nigga, or or who who you choose is gonna be a problem it's gonna too. Be a problem anyway, it goes. It's gonna be a problem but, all the dog. It don't but, matter. But, but, it, it, and it I'm sure mean, in, in other ple- people's places too, but definitely here. Yeah. It's gonna depend on who he choose. Oh, 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 why that nigga? Oh, no, yeah. Come on. Oh, dog. you couldn't go get yeah, Eastside rapper nigga. You exactly, got, yeah, bro. You got Westside exactly. nigga. This that, third. But I thought that would be dope. Or fuck it, get you. I'm um, on West Side, I'm riding around with payroll, nigga. We going to West Side restaurants. East Side, I ride around with Vezo. We going to East Side Facts. restaurants. Okay. Yeah. That would be like, that, that like straight, that, yeah. nigga. That's, that's just what my mind went. You got to build in relationships with niggas first, though. For sure. You know. But if you was like, of course, you go in suburban areas, like, you go, you could do that shit dolo. Yeah. But when you go to, like, your urban, like, if you go to Memphis or if you go mm. to the motherfucking, like, Atlanta, like. That's, just, that shit hard, though. Like, you really got to know somebody, though, because you do, like, you do want to choose the yeah. right nigga to do it. Cause, I, I'm quite sure it'll help both of them out. Because, say, like, before Vezo blew up, blew up, but everybody mm-hmm. in the city knew who Vezo was. Mm-hmm. That shit would have kind of, like, helped both niggas out. No, nah, for sure. Yeah. I, I think for I think on that tip, and this, this will probably never happen because of how niggas is and shit, but I think on that tip, it would it would need that rapper to reach out to him, not the other way around. Mm-hmm. That rapper needs to suggest it. Yeah. Because, like, if he suggested, then it's going to be a problem with, like, why he chooses this and why he ain't from here, like, how you, you no, know, all sure. that shit. Hell yeah, so, though. no, for sure. A nigga like Vezo would have to pull up and be like, hey, nigga, let's do the e- East Side yeah. shit. Hell yeah. Hell you know, yeah. That so shit would be dope. I like thought that. that would be real sweet, nigga. Like, for real. That'd be yeah, dope. some rap niggas, if you listen to shit, capital- yeah. capitalize off the nigga yeah. being here. Yeah, shit. I, wish, I wish I was a no nigga. I'd be like, cuz, go somewhere, Bro, nigga. I'm, like, real talk, nigga, rappers, whoever, like, for real, try to tap in with dog because, like, you talking about thousands of people in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> like nigga, that could, you could be sharing that. No, for sure, hell yeah. So like niggas around right. the city, like if you cook was, up if, with dog. If you was nigga, reach out to him. You you got a big big name in the city. Where mm. where, where you taking him, dog? Oh shit. But see that ain't fair because I do all I do all hood shit. Yeah, yeah. But that's like, what I, I, like I'm going to Zorba's. Okay, baby. I'm going to motherfucking the food exchange, nigga, on yeah. Harper, dog. Yeah. I'm going to motherfucking uh, Rock City on, yeah. on Harper and uh, and uh, Grash and shit, dog. And, nigga, it's a joint, and I don't even know the name of this motherfucker, dog. It's some chicken in the gas station, dog. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's a uh, crispy, crunchy chicken? No, it's some other shit. Oh, it's Crispy, crunchy, the shit, too, though. Yeah, I went there, nigga, like, fucking yeah, crispy, spicy cr- joint. Crispy, crunchy, the shit, too, but it's a... Damn. It's over there by, uh... Fuck, she told me, too, because I ain't been yet, but she didn't pick up some chicken from that motherfucker, and I'm telling yeah. you, dog. Duh. Best this, this gas station chicken better better than uh fucking crispy. Right, so I know this is gonna air what well, right now you watching is right now, but it's, it's Friday, <laughs> so it's gonna air tomorrow on Saturday. Duh. I want to clip this piece out, dog, because I think this would be brilliant. DJ BJ need to reach out to that nigga. Have him go to Pizza Cat, dog. Mm. Go to Pizza mm. Cat. Get the make make sure buy, uh, get whatever the popular pizza is that everybody get, and have him come in that bitch, and they can have a conversation at the same time. Quick little Facts. twenty minute convo, convo on the, he in the back while he preparing the food. Facts. And then do it like that, dog. That would be dope. It's a new restaurant. You and, know what I'm saying? And that should have set the fucking trend. He could set yeah. the trend for the city. No, nah, niggas ain't listening to me, dog. I swear I'll be He could set like, the trend for the city right there. Yeah. DJ, BJ, Cino, one of you niggas shit. Reach out the dog. Cino, man, you still looking at my shit, but you, you gonna come on though, cuz <laughs> What the fuck, dog? Hey, I fuck with both of them though. They did a uh, they did a dog ass interview for uh, yeah. Mister Oh Yeah, shit on the Oh Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, podcast. So. Yeah, dog. Now yeah. before we get by here, dog, you know we gonna start doing that shit. We still gotta do that shit too, as far as like 
reviewing the uh, episode. Mm -hmm. So last episode we had uh, my nigga uh, D Will play Rico in um, Sloppy Seconds. Yeah. And he he posted something yesterday about a nigga has left a, a, a female left a message to my house. She hate the character. He was a whole ass nigga. This and the third. Mm -hmm. And of course we talked about it. Who was a character nigga from a show or a movie that you hate? Just because how <laughs> dirty they was, nigga. Because I think once by the time everybody hated Tyreek, nigga. But I always like I did. I saw liking him once he did his own shit. I did. I hated dog at first though, because like you, you fucking. Oh, yeah. pretentious ass. Yeah. I hate that little nigga. Who but, you uh, hate to this day, nigga? Huh, that's a good question, dog. I, why you think of that? I hate Chauncey? Off of motherfucking, uh, what's the name, dog? Miss Society, dog. <laughs> you whole ass nigga. You got your yeah, ass you beat ass nigga, by Kane and gonna yeah. go ahead. Nigga, you trying to get on that nigga girl. Facts. Got your ass beat, nigga. And you gonna go ahead and tell, nigga. First <laughs> off, I don't know why old dog even gave this nigga a tape. Right. In the first place, nigga. That shit should have been in your possession and your possession only. But you gave this nigga. I don't think he necessarily gave it to him. He probably took that bitch. But then maybe he was watching over there, so he probably just left that bitch over there. He probably just left that it. That was stupid though. Yeah. But nigga, he was a whole ass nigga. I fuck with him, but that character was a whole ass nigga, dog. Yeah. I fuck with that nigga, everything he do. Yeah. But that movie, nigga, you bitch ass nigga. You was an old head. Right. Got your ass beat by a nigga who just graduated yesterday. Yeah, nah, for and sure. And you gonna take the tape, nigga. You you was a snitch. You were first snitch. <laughs> you were first nigga first in the snitch. hood that was like nigga like that polarized as a snitch, dog. Yeah. You were first nigga. To be a snitch in the hood, dog. You that nigga? Yes, dog. You a you a hoe. You got my nigga killed, nigga, at the end of the day, cause he would been gone probably. Right. Cause he was running from the uh, old dog with the jail and shit, like. Yeah. But it was kind of came for though. He's still my man now though. But. <laughs> I mean, that's how it all started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But man, this nigga, yeah, you a hoe ass nigga for that one, man. You snitch. Damn, what y'all think though? I ain't never, I ain't never had a nigga that uh, well, I, I take that back, dog. On some more Detroit shit, dog. Yeah, I ain't hate that nigga, but like I just I couldn't believe that nigga. He worse than dog from uh from uh sloppy seconds. Yeah. Dog. Oh, uh, light skin nigga. Yes, if Damn. I if I can't, dog. Yeah, what's that nigga name? I want to make sure we tell that nigga shit, dog. Yes, bro. Got the nigga on show too. Look. I can't I can't think of his, his name in the uh in the movie and shit, but yeah. uh. That nigga real name is uh Tristan uh um, Yeah, Tristan uh, uh Frizik uh, yeah, you know yeah, that word. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to dog and shout out to your sister too and shit. We all cool. <laughs> she uh she uh got some shows on podcasting. Oh, for her sister? Yeah, yeah. But uh Tristan, I can I can't never pronounce their last name. Yeah, I, yeah it's, it's kinda or some shit. Yeah, something like that. All but right, dog, we put your name all up. I know we did. Yeah, I know we <laughs> fucked it up, dog. My bad, Tristan. It's all good though. Um, but after seeing that movie, like, I I just couldn't believe this yeah. nigga, dog. And Duh. then at the end, I'm sorry if niggas haven't seen it. Like, this nigga killed the kid, bro. Dog. But you know what's so funny about that scene? Boy, man? How you kill a kid? When he killed bro. the kid, nigga, that nigga closed and went flying. Like, he was like, <laughs> I'm not laughing at the fact That's that the, the kid got no, killed. He killed everybody, then left a letter to his, to his kid. Yeah. But that nigga was fooling that Duh, movie. No, that nigga, nigga was fooling. Then he put her face on like, the plate or some shit. Or the, or bro. The, or the, or the, what was that? Uh, that nigga just kicked ass. Yeah, he That did. nigga kicked he ass. He was fooling. And then the mama, though. She and that motherfucker like was like, oh, he was he a good dude. Then she turned yeah. on him like nigga, he was a fucked up dude. Dog, he was kicking ass. So that's one of the ones like yeah, man. like how how girl girl say she hated uh dog and sloppy yeah. second shit. I could I just was I just couldn't believe I was in awe, nigga. Dog, like that nigga damn. Fooled. We dumped her ass in the motherfucking uh on the, Bro. On the head and shit, nigga. I'm Tristan a, man. I'm gonna tell you. Come on, podcast, man. For sure. Like, no, nah, Tristan for real, dog. Pull up. Hey, that nigga said Speak to me in lowercase letters, nigga. In lowercase. Don't fucking... Dog, know, voice, what? Yeah, nigga, whisper to me. Nigga. That was some gangster shit. I want to know, Tristan, who, if you watching this shit. Who wrote that or if he ad-libbed yes, that shit? Did you ad-lib that or was that written in? Because that yeah. shit hard as fuck. <laughs> Dog, that shit hard as fuck. That was all back in the 60 <laughs> pimp shit, nigga, off the mat. <laughs> Dog. Yes. Dog. That nigga say it's lowercase nigga. That shit, me and Alice was rolling to watch that movie, dog. That shit was funny, dog. That was a good one. What's that shit again? If I can't. Yeah, if I can't, dog. Shout out to uh, Mina Monroe. Dog. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I can watch that shit again. That shit was hilarious, dog. I do really need to know. Did you write that or, or just, I mean, did the writer write that in or did you ad lib that? Because that shit was genius. Yeah. yeah, man. But yeah, man, we had some of your people on the show, man. Come on the show, man. It's good. You have a good time, man. For sure. Feel me, dog. Wish I had that nigga hair and shit, cause no put no homo and shit, but <laughs> <laughs> that nigga shit long as hell, cause I was that. <laughs> That nigga too got good hair. No, huh? I wish I had that shit, dog. Nigga, you cause those type of that's the type of hair, nigga. You could just 
nigga get a lineup and nigga that bitch would be whatever. Nigga put that bitch in ponytail. It's just there. Yeah, whatever, like, right? Good yeah. to go, dog. No, nah, for damn, sure. I miss my hair, dog. What he was in another movie too that uh, damn when that nigga had um. He, he, been, want, he been quite a few joints. Yeah, he the one who had killed her her dude when they went to the store or some shit. She won something from the store, and come to find out, he was the one who had who had uh. Damn, oh, no, yeah, he, he yeah. wasn't want to do it with somebody else who did it, right? Damn, I know what Damn, you're talking about. I, I, I feel like movie. I know the movie now. I watch so many fucking movies on Tubi and shit, yeah. dog. So many Detroit films. I'm trying to think of that fucking movie, They dog. started running together, too. That nigga was in NARC, too, though. NARC was good, too, though. I think that was NARC. Uh, oh, her husband's uh, enemy. Yeah. Yeah. So did he... He was was he a kill, yeah, he the one who had killed the killed her because he was he was cool with her, with her yeah, something cool yeah, with the nigga. He was on some bullshit too. Yeah, she but, ended up uh, killing him at the end. First time I seen that nigga, oh, Power Money was straight. But the first time I seen him, there was yeah, uh, Power Money was child support. With, uh, Bro, that shit. Wait a minute, that shit right there, yeah. underrated. Yeah, it is underrated. That was a good movie. Child, yes, underrated, dog. That's one of the first. Uh, yeah, that's one of the first joints I think I seen him in too. I think that's my been like my t- first time watching like a Tubi movie because that was around the time with uh, COVID. Yeah, and that's when I watched McGraw after I saw that. That shit was that shit was on point. She was, putting that, she was getting a nigga headache, boy. <laughs> Like Chris or dog, hey, I'm still waiting for you too, girl. But uh, <laughs> right. yeah, dog, that shit, nigga. He took the kids to the bounce house and wound up having a rash. He going crazy and shit, nigga. Dog. Then he get with the new chick and and then her dad's the motherfucking uh. The fucking um judge, then that whole ass nigga get the pit bull to attack his daughter and shit. Nigga, like nigga, that was a whole shit right there. Nigga. It was. You a fucking judge. It's a good it. ass movie though. Yeah, yeah that was child support, I right. watched that shit like two, three times. Nigga, like I, yeah. I know it's good. Cause I watched it more at one time. For sure. Hell yeah, man. But shit, I ain't really got shit to talk about, dog. Hey, do you think New Edition will be as big as Bobby Brown never left? <laughs> Cause you gotta think, nigga, like Johnny Gill, kind of like. Them, them niggas could sing, but Johnny Gill could sing, sing. Yeah. Like, do you think them niggas would have been the same? Like, as far as if they just never so broke up? if Bobby hadn't left, it wouldn't have been no Johnny Gill. Yeah. I mean, I can't even say that, though. Well, Johnny Gill still was at this thing, but I think Johnny Gill may, may have gave the group something that they was missing. No, I'm saying I, I think that Johnny Gill is it, a possibility that Johnny Gill would have came anyway, yeah. even if it wasn't for the absence of Bobby, though. But you see, oh yeah, because it was the reason why he got Johnny Gill was because they was threatened by uh, Ralph leaving. Yeah, Cause remember he watched the movie about Bobby. Yeah, shit, yeah, Ralph was talking about doing solo shit. Right, and that's when Mike was like, "Fuck it, we'll get somebody just in case he be on some whole shit." Yeah, so, so yeah, just, he yeah, might have came in that. He might have would have still. But been I was the just same. wondering, like, if they never got him, like, how would the group have been? I then, think there's still been a new addition though. Then it got me thinking. How Destiny Child would have been if they never had got Michelle and just would kept it with the original, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, who, who, who was the original? Latoya girl? Luckett. Before her. I think Latoya Luckett was always riding with her. Remember? Cause, uh, it, or was, it was a fourth one then. Yeah, it was Latoya Luckett. It was the, it was the uh, dark skin chick. The dark skin chick. Yeah, that's got, the one that she was thick. Yeah, they got yeah. rid of those two. <laughs> and then they got Michelle and another girl. Okay. And then that one girl started wilding out. So then that's when they eliminated her and just kept Michelle and the yeah, two of them. So I'd be wondering like, if groups never broke up, like, yeah. Or never like added new pieces. How would they be and shit? Yeah, but I, I ain't gonna lie though. Destiny's Child was probably one of the shit, one of the better female groups. I mean, it just wasn't. I ain't gonna say it wasn't yeah. a lot, but like you looking at seven oh two and fucking yeah. eight oh eight and shit, and shit and and black, you yeah. know, shit like that. Like I think they they a little bit up from them and not shit. For sure. Definitely yeah. not no like TLC or no shit like yeah, that. But yeah, but TLC yeah. just they just didn't have a longer impact. As far as like, shit, but you know, I'm, I'm always go my number one just because of my age. I think it's gonna be in vogue and shit. Yeah, I, you Vogue. Know. They, it's they probably because of my what age. What else? Fine, in vogue, dog. The old girl who had left and did her shit with uh, Raphael Sadiq and, and Pearl and oh, shit. Oh my god, nigga, she was bad. Yeah, she was bad, nigga. I fuck with her heavy. Yeah, what, what's her fucking name, though? I Lucy forgot. Pearl's the name of the, the group. big group of shit. Yeah, yeah. it was a uh, Raphael Sadiq nigga from. God uh, damn, why I can't fucking think of her name? And I know her name like I'm looking at her I in my brain. I, I can look at her, but I can't tell you her name for sure. Yeah, no, nah, for yeah, sure. she was fine, nigga. Yeah, she was. And then, nigga, that got me thinking about, well, Michael Jackson never went solo, nigga, just stayed with the Jackson 5. <laughs> 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 that nigga career would have been shit, nigga. Yeah, right. <laughs> he said never left. Dog, because he, yeah, he was carrying them niggas, nigga. They, was, they were probably hating. Nigga. You already see, wasn't he? I just realized, nigga, a couple months ago, wasn't he wrote a diss track to Michael Jackson? Right. Uh, Jermaine Jackson, nigga, like, you a hater, nigga. <laughs> Shit. But shit, yeah, this nigga at work, shit. <laughs> right. Hey, one one more thing though. Did you uh you never watched the the Tyler Perry shit, huh? No, not yet. Watch that shit, dog. Yeah, yeah. We'll talk about that shit another time. Hell yeah, I'm about to get on, get hip to. It. I gotta watch that shit. Like I said, I gotta watch Barry. Mm-hmm. I gotta watch motherfucking uh, Force with Tommy. 
I still ain't watched last season. I got to watch Kanika. Everybody keep talking about no, the Kanika. Also, too, when you get the second guy, it's, it's like, it's like a, I don't know, it's quite a few episodes, but uh, who killed, who shot Malcolm X, dog? Okay. Dog, that shit is a documentary where this dude going through all the monsters and shit. Yeah. yeah, like this shit. Yeah, shit kind of deep no, and shit. Lot of shit It'd be a lot of shit to watch, dog. Yeah. And I ain't gonna lie, what got me hip to that, and we gonna get out of here, but what got me hip to that was watching fucking uh, uh, Godfather of Harlem and shit. Just oh, yeah. seeing that relationship that with him and Bumpy. Man, that shit good. How many seasons is it? Two? Three. Oh, shit. I got yeah, that shit good to say. But, uh, and then, this time of year, we end off on this one, dog. Mm-hmm. You can realize, nigga, everybody and mama know how to do taxes. <laughs> <laughs> how many tax workers are there, dog? Like, what the fuck? I don't trust some of you niggas, dog. Some of you niggas... <laughs> Look at some scammers, nigga, y'all. Oh, yeah, we do taxes. We get your highest motherfucking refund back. Like, damn. Oh, shit, These niggas go to tax school, nigga. Like, they, they be going that shit out the blue, too. I ain't even see y'all, nigga. post tax school, nigga. <laughs> niggas come out the blue like, I'm a tax person, nigga. I get you 50 million, nigga. Like, come to me. Like, nigga. <laughs> Everybody do taxes, nigga. That nigga say, I'm going to get you 50 million. But, nigga, my thing is, I know some niggas personally, nigga, who wasn't that good in school, nigga. I ain't about to let a nigga who, <laughs> nigga, got 1.5 do my taxes. You gotta get them numbers right, nigga. Ain't even got shit to say. Niggas that graduate, dog, doing taxes, dog. Like that shit crazy. That's the new hustle, bro. Like I'm a tax, I'm a tax worker, nigga. Like, oh, shit, especially when you say you could do that shit on your own. Like, of course, I was doing shit on my own. Yeah. But I stopped doing it just because my wife was getting my fucking nerves about the shit, making sure everything was correct. So I started mm-hmm. having her auntie do it. I want the real shit, nigga. I, of course, I would want the max that you can give me, but I'm also afraid that you might get me put in jail. Yeah. Like, nigga, some of these niggas I just don't trust, nigga. Like, y'all niggas chill too much to be doing taxes, nigga. Like, hey, that shit funny, though, because it is true. Nigga, <laughs> I have seen a lot of new people going up like, yeah. You got some niggas, that, like these scamming niggas, oh, y'all ain't do y'all taxes, nigga, let me know. <laughs> I get you motherfucker, hey, 20000 nigga. Like, bro, right. y'all niggas is wild, dog. Everybody ain't going to jail. Niggas got, niggas, niggas got a motherfucking, uh, 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 no degrees in this bitch, nigga. Like, but got they tax degree in this bitch. Right. I'm a tax man, like, or a tax woman. <laughs> them tax women be fucking hoes too. Like, most of them be like some Duh, what? Most tax women is some strippers, like, or somebody. Some, bro, what is you saying? Just a, a runner in this bitch, not. <laughs> bro, what is you saying? This bitch get fucked by a couple niggas that did do your taxes next morning. Hey, the thoughts and the pains. I'm shy versus everybody does not. <laughs> Include the, uh, the, the thoughts and opinions uh, of E Block Radio. Hey, no nigga with 1.5 doing my taxes, dog. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga graduated by the skin of his teeth, and he doing taxes, nigga. Like, he about to fuck them numbers all up, nigga. He gonna put your social security number with your wage. Oh, uh, uh, shit, dog. Dog, yeah. I just, I saw that shit this morning. It was like, <laughs> some of y'all niggas really been doing shit for a long time. Y'all legit. Nah, for sure. Y'all legit, nigga. Shout out to uh my girl Kim. Shout out to uh, Tone and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Some of you niggas. I don't know where y'all got that motherfucker degree from. Hey, shout out to my dog Mark, man, over at uh, Motor City Tax Pros, too, man. Oh, yeah, y'all been sure. doing y'all thing for a few. That's legit, nigga. For sure. Legit. Don't go to East Warren, motherfucker, uh, Mook, uh, Texas, nigga. <laughs> East Warren, Mook, <laughs> God. East Warren, Mook, Texas, nigga. Where we can get the max and beat out your. What what they say when you go to tired places, nigga? We guaranteed to match, match that shit, nigga. They going over that shit. They go, hey, give you 10. Oh, I'll give you 20. Duh. I, nigga, I didn't even see my shit. That nigga say how. <laughs> nigga, I'll get your shit tomorrow, nigga. Like, but you got to give me a 1000 on top, nigga. Oh, <laughs> these niggas crazy, man. I miss Datatron, too, nigga. They get your money right there, there. Damn, yeah, for real. And when my mom used to go to Datatron, mm-hmm. they give you a 1000 that day and the rest the next day. Yeah. They wrap a refund, but they stopped doing that shit, I guess, because niggas was Niggas weren't paying that shit back. No, it wasn't nothing to pay back. It's just niggas. I'm saying they had, to, they had to take your shit, though, right? Uh, so that's the advance, nigga. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because the IRS ain't sending you that money that fast. That's okay. an advance, nigga. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that shit was always <laughs> What you thought? You I just was, give me your shit? I thought they would just get that shit early, nigga. nigga just... the, the IRS still got to send you your money, so okay. they just giving you an advance. Okay, so then when you get your shit, you got to give it. They got to take it, yeah. Okay, so, so, but but they, now that they do everything electronically, they just yeah, taking your shit. Yeah, yeah, so you ain't. So back then, did I have to go down there and physically take my check over to them? Or, or, or I paperwork? think the checks was getting sent to them to anyway. Them. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. That makes sense now. But yeah, yeah. that shit used to be. Nigga, go to Datatron right there on motherfucking Sam Mile Grass, your dog. Mm-hmm. And, uh, <laughs> nigga, I know we had a thousand right there in there. <laughs> right. And you get the other motherfucking rest of that shit. And they wasn't giving that much out, like, back then. I don't know what these tax niggas doing now. Like, I yeah, see my I mom know. was getting, like, five, six thousand. Yeah, niggas, I just been breaking the bag. Yeah, but, like, nigga, you Double ain't, digits off rip. Like, nigga, work three months. They, I, I cheated, before we go, I did that shit one time. Like, <laughs> hey, nigga, ain't no, uh, you sure you want to talk about it? <laughs> 
Yeah, I ain't gonna name no names, though. Fuck it. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, because shit, they can get your tax evasion and go back years. Nigga. All right, fuck it then. <laughs> I was self employed one time, they got about eight, nigga. They really think said about eight. Yeah, hey, all right, though. But shit, we get about here, dog. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man. Y'all tax niggas, chill out, man. Until next time, man. We have a guest for y'all next week. Right. <laughs> Peace, Peace out. out. Lions better win. <laughs>